Hey guys, this is John here from Rocket Tech. Uh, today we're working on an XT926 uh, Motorola phone. Um, we're working on the charging port. The charging port on the actual outside where the plug plugs into the device, it's not damaged at all. It's just here on the backhand side. Um, if you look under the microscope, which you guys can't see from here, but I'm actually looking under the microscope, all five pins on the back of the charging port are actually pulled up. So what I'm going to do is uh, just basically resolder those pins back down. I don't need to replace the port completely because that's not the issue. Um, it's just that these back pins have come up. So the first thing that I did was take flux right here. I use MG Chemicals Flux. I get it off Amazon. I'll put it in the link down below. Um, and so you just lay it there across the backhand side. I'm using the FM2023 tweezers from Hacko. Those are the ones that are on the screen. And I am using Kester. Uh, Let's see, this is what? This is Kester 6644 solder, also on Amazon. I'll put the link down below if you guys would like to get those products. And so all I'm going to do is put a little bit of solder here on the tip of my, uh, on the tip of my Hacko tweezers. And I'm going to go down here and retouch up all the pins. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is the first video I've done in a while, so we'll see how this new setup is. All right, so there's the first pin on the right-hand side. All right, that one's done. Now that one. That one's done. Going over a third one. That one's done. And the fourth one. That one's done. And then now we're on the fifth side. And that is good to go. I'm going to retouch up this first one because it doesn't look as good as the others. And now it does. Um, the tweezers are really good because the two sides when they're squeezed together they fit perfectly on each side of the uh, back of the charging port pins so it really does a nice even uh, solder job uh, for charging ports of pretty much any kind so now what I'm gonna do uh, sometimes on charging ports you would have to worry about a microphone but the microphone is not on uh, the top side on this phone is actually on the bottom so you don't have to worry about, I mean it's not next to the charging port it's on the uh, top of the phone so you don't actually, I mean on the bottom of the phone so you don't actually have to worry about getting flux or anything in there um, on this phone you do see that I have taped up uh, this area this is where the mic is um, this is where one of the cameras is so you want to make sure that you have this taped up you also want to make sure that you have it angled forward so that the flux doesn't go down in those areas but what I'm going to do now is just take 99.9% uh, .9 alcohol and a uh, soft bristle toothbrush I'm just going to clean it here off the back side Do that for a second, and it'll take about three or four minutes for this uh, alcohol to evaporate and dry up, and then we're just going to put this phone back together, and it will be uh, it'll be 100% functional. Uh, thank you so much. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. Um, next time I get one of these boards in, I will that needs a full replacement. I will show you guys the full replacement. This is just kind of a quick hack around when you, when you don't need to replace the charging port because the outside is perfectly fine, but it's just the pins that are pulled up on the backhand side because for some reason people think that jiggling a charging port up and down is going to fix it. So thank you very much. Uh, have a great day.